think Wyoming is really beautiful at this time of year. Um, the grass is green, it's not all burnt yet. And there are tons of rolling hills. And it's just beautiful. And then the people are down there looking for bones. It's a very, very cool day to be out hiking and looking for dinosaur bones. Be the largest mammoth found in Wyoming. Um, on top of the tendons. Okay, it actually preserved the tendons. That just, it, it, it preserved the well, I mean, And it's because the tendons are ossified. So tendons can change into bone while it's living. And see, the mammoth did that because he was so old. He took his tendons and ossified them, which decreases maneuverability, but would still allow him to not fall down. So he was walking <laughs> a little differently in old age. But, and the human body does the same thing. You get old enough, and if your tendons get weak, then your body ossifies them, and that makes them so they're not limber anymore, but you can still walk but you don't have like, that many different bones, and then they glue them all together. Well, the weird thing about dinosaurs is that they don't suture their bones together like mammals, they have cartilage. So when they die, the cartilage rots, and they just fall apart. So most of the time, when you find a T-Rex skull, it's like that, and all the teeth drop out. So the teeth are just single-rooted, they're big, like this one. And then they just they just fall out of the socket once they begin to decay. Now the odd thing about our T-Rex is we never found a tooth, we never found a piece of the skull. However, I believe at the end we found this there's a big round ball, looks like a softball where it connects to the vertebrae back in the very back. You have to get over there. And I found that bone of our T-Rex. Just that right there, and this bone right here, um, in the sand channel that's upstream, so the water was flowing towards our skeleton. So I think the skull fell apart upstream, and these heavy teeth will all be laying in the mud somewhere upstream. So we're hoping to go back this summer and dig and see if we can find. I have teeth. my uh, hammer in a bag with my name on it. I am going to look for dinosaur bones. Apparently, this is used to be a riverbed that eroded over time. People find uh, turtle bones, dinosaur bones. So, me and the kids and Dr. Sanders come down here to look for dinosaur bones. So, we'll see what I find today. <laughs> um, however, well, it's what we call a metatarsal. So is it like his wings? It's like his, these bones right here, either in the hand or in the foot. Um, but, so this is a good, good example. And again, this one I normally wouldn't collect because it's just not quite complete enough. And it's falling apart. If it would have been a jaw with teeth, I can solidify them. There's some more bones, so again, you can see there's a crack right there, so we'll have to glue that. But then we'll kind of scrape it and now brush it. Now brush it, there you go. Brush the chips out. And I'm going to pry that one out. It is here to chip with the knife, it seems. Yep, so I'm using the knife to scrape because it's kind of muddy. So we're going to uncover it and then we'll take it out. And you'll have a complete bone, I think. Um, let me dig some more out here now, because it's going that way. This is your funny bone. Yeah. That's the ulna. That's the ulna. This is the radius. They're locked together in the shape. <laughs> and this is the humerus, so that goes to the scapula yeah. bone there. And so it's the front left bone of a modern sheep. Chip. There's a big ram died on that ridge about 20 some years ago. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I find some remains of him. That, yep. But and it I is think, a bone. You yes. definitely recognize it. And this, this is another too. one of his ribs, but these are turtle plates. Yeah. Both of those are turtles. 
And uh, I find something. Yeah, you did. <laughs> well, baby's breastfeeding, and uh, mom, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and all the uh, paleontologists are outside having lunch in the back of the car. It's was fun.